Yo, yo, welcome to another video, guys. Today, we're going to talk mid-game progression, and we're going to talk about PC-10. Guys, you got to start farming your artifacts. And guess what? We are using the Dark Frog. So, check it out. Um, obviously, it's dying. It's dying every every run. But uh, check out these times. 58 seconds. A minute 11. A minute 1 minute three minute one a minute 36 a minute 19 a minute 15 a minute four a minute 11 not bad times overall the average a minute 10 but guys it's about making your team safe i've gotten asked a lot how can i make tricaro work in pc10 it keeps failing it keeps failing so Today, we're going to show you a few ways to do it, and one of them includes the Dark Frog, but don't worry, if you don't have the Dark Frog, it's okay, we've got other options, alright? This is the Vertihile, guys, and to be honest with you, the reason that your Triple Ricardo Vertihiles are failing is because your Vertihile is weak, and so are your Ricaros, to be honest, that's just completely being honest, that's why mine was failing on my mid-game account, and that's why um, this one was failing. Now, I am on Nail U account. And big shout out to Eternal Dark. He is a mod of my streams. And uh, we kind of came up with this together. I told him to throw some extra unit in there. And he came up with the Dark Frog. I'm going to show you the Dark Frog's build in a second. But uh, this is the Vertihile. You know, nothing crazy. It's not like G3 runes or anything. This is a mid-game account. Towers are definitely not all maxed. We've got the Ikaros. Um, that one's pretty slow. So is uh, so is that one. You guys may have better Icaros, that's for sure. He's got no Icaros that are that fast, right? So what's the secret? What's the secret? We're going to show you. Let's take a look at a run. So I'm going to show you exactly why Dark Frog is working here, okay? So uh, the reason we're using the Dark Frog here is so that it can die. <laughs> it's so that it can die right here in this stage. Hopefully, there we go. That's exactly why. That's exactly why, but you're going to notice one thing that I'm going to show you right now. So the reason we're using, the other reason we're using the Dark Frog is for this, guys. We are applying BJR5 strategies to this. What we're doing is we're putting the Dark Frog on triple fights, guys. Triple fight. Look at that sexy, sexy uh, plus 24% from fight runes. That's a full fight set on the dark frog and you don't even need a good fight runes you you can just put white fight runes on it because once it dies on that stage one you still get to keep that 24 percent so you might be saying well it's only 24 percent yes but i mean it's not just 24 percent that's 24 percent for your vertihile 24 percent for each of the ikaros and it's a little more because the ikaros they increase their own attack, right? They they buff their own attack. So overall, what it does, uh, the reason it makes this so much safer is because you are actually able to kill things. You're able to kill things. I mean, look at this. Without that attack, this probably would have been a fail. Perfect example. Perfect example. All right, now we're going to jump on my account because I don't have the Dark Frog. And now we're going to show you how I'm doing it. Now we're on my account, guys. So you're going to notice sort of like the same thing, okay? So we've got this Dark High Elemental. I didn't have any one-star or two-star Dark Monsters, but it's the same thing. We just run triple fight sets on it. And you'll notice they're just white sets, right? White sets. Now, how do you get white fight runes it's very easy guys you will have to farm a little bit of um ripped raids but you just craft these you go right here craft low runes low runes right you go to fight boom and that's what you need 30 of the fire ones and 10 of the light ones and you just craft enough to make a set same way you did it for your bjr5 team now let me show you how my team runs i'll show you the stats on my team my i mean my triple the car is not that strong either uh, this is one of my cars i'm using i think four determination sets so these are my cars i do have one that's pretty fast and uh these are it these are it but it's the same thing guys it's the same thing. i mean look at my vertihile my vertihile is weak sauce it's definitely weak sauce so we need him we need him um to 
I mean, we need the triple fight, uh, the, the the three fight sets, right? That's again, that's twenty four percent from all, for all of them, right? Now, again, uh, because this thing is three starred, uh, sometimes you know it's not going to die right here. It's just not going to die here. Uh, and actually, well, it, it doesn't die when. Uh, I mean, mine are a little better, I guess. Mine are a little better, but it should die before we get to the boss. Or even if it dies at the boss, it's fine. There we go. So he, it did die here. Now, I don't have a one-star or a two-star dark unit on this account. So that's why I was using that high elemental. But if you can get a one-star or a two-star, it'll be so much better. Because the, the faster it dies, the better. But the thing is, you still get to keep that buff. And I'll be honest with you, before we started applying this strategy, uh, it was actually dying. It was actually uh, failing, I mean, it was definitely failing. So here we go. Now, I haven't run it since I updated my blue stack, so that's why that got there. But um, yeah, before I had that tower, um, sometimes we, I couldn't even kill the first tower before before that got a turn, and uh, I would fail, I would fail. But you can see here, can see that I think well we're gonna be good now because the vertical self heals that attack that extra attack from the fight sets allows him to sustain himself and then you know the the combo just doesn't well once your dark unit gets eliminated and I I mean you it doesn't even have to be dark but because it's dark it will usually get targeted by the waves and then it'll die so this was a little slower run because we didn't start it right away right we didn't start it right away now I'm going to show you a different strategy that you can also use say you have I don't know let's just throw something out there let's say you have a Perna, for example, guys, if you have a Perna, you can also run the Perna. So, the reason the Perna works now, the Perna is not gonna die, the Perna has runes, okay? But the reason the Perna is gonna work is gonna be because of that sustain, uh, it's going to be able to heal them up. Um, once we get to the boss and also <laughs> the Perna does some very good damage as well so I mean look at that actually that wasn't that much but either way uh, because the Perna is adding uh, quite a bit of damage uh, this actually um, was working very well for me as well it was working very well for me as well so I, I don't remember if this failed for me um, but so far what I can tell you is before I added anything, when I was just running the Akaros plus the Vertihile, it would fail uh, a couple of times here or there. So definitely add, add another unit, guys. Add another unit for sure. And you can see right there, well, I was not able to kill. I was not able to kill that tower before it moved. And now I have the attack break. So that, that right there was what was making me fail before. So now let's take a look. Uh, now running the perna it is going to be slower because you mess up the turn cycle right you mess up the the, the cycling from the the Icaro's always taking the vertical with them but it doesn't matter because the perna even if it dies um it's gonna revive it's got a second life right it's got a second life and there you go you can see it'll get targeted boom it comes right back and because of the passive healing we should be fine we should be fine once we get the towers down now the last thing i'll leave you with is please make sure that you do kill the towers um you you really do have to or you're gonna fail so hopefully this helps you guys it definitely has been helping me it's definitely helped eternal dark and again big shout out to eternal dark for letting me feature his account this is how you are going to make your triple Icaro plus vertical safe in pc 10 if you didn't know not you know look at that the perna actually came back again <laughs> again if you didn't know now you know <laughs> you know